excited because astronomy, we think, is an ideal vehicle for public understanding and for the development of science education programs. Because any time you talk astronomy sciences, you excite young people. Mm -hmm. As a result of our focus on astronomy, partnerships with multinational companies, which are linked to information and communication technology engineering, have mushroomed. And all of the IT companies in the world, because of the immensity of this global radio telescope, are interested in providing the data processing for our square kilometer array. Software engineers are talking to South Africa for the first time about what can we do? How do we contribute? Your IBMs are saying we think we're laying enough fiber optic cable to be able to carry the data the square kilometer array will generate. <coughs> Suddenly Dell wants to establish an office in Kimberley because of the square kilometer array. So our successful bid for the SKA can, in large measure, lead to significant development in South Africa. But we must also say that uh, its effectiveness and our success in securing it should also be acknowledged as part of the successful economic diplomacy of South Africa. We were very fortunate that when we said to our president, when you make your speeches at the African Union, mention SKA and define it as a 3,000 satellite dish radio telescope, the largest ever to be built in the world, and that Africa will benefit. And because he followed our instruction, eventually all African presidents were talking about SKA in Paris, in the United States, and saying this project should come to Africa. And 25th of May, 2012, it did. So, never neglect economic diplomacy. It's no small achievement for the science diplomacy efforts of South Africa and its partners to have a discipline such as astronomy, traditionally viewed as an elitist uh, uh, basic research domain, suddenly being recognized at the highest level as a flagship initiative, not only for African scientific capacity building, but also for broader regional integration and economic <laughs>